Kui, welcome to my channel. I have a new video for you today, and as you can see, we're gonna be talking about melanin tips to help your melanin glow, grow, and just be the best that it can possibly be. Before, but before we get into it, don't, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you're a new watcher. Don't forget to comment down below so we can continue this conversation down there. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you really like this video. So let's get into it and we can talk about our <laughs> and we can talk about our melanin and tips to help it look great all the time. So even before I get into this, um, I want to really promote my box this month because it has a lot to do with skincare. And some of these things that we're gonna talk about is well, it is skincare because your melanin. It shows throughout your skin. Okay, so our skincare box is the theme for Melanin Magic this month. You have until the end of August to get your box. We're solely gonna have skincare products. And if you don't know what Melanin Magic is, hello. It is a beauty subscription box for our melanated beauties that I usually provide makeup, hair care, skincare, um, self care, and sometimes like an Afrocentric product like like a head wrap, waist beads, uh, shea, moist, shea, shea butter, all of that. So definitely get your box. This month is going to be solely about skincare and taking care of your skin. So I was like, okay, if I'm doing this, I also want to show you guys other ways you can do it, not just through the box, but give my viewers on YouTube ways to take care of your melanin. Just in case you didn't know, and it's just a couple of steps. Number one, do your skincare daily. People with darker skin lose moisture way faster, so you have to do as much as you can to you know hydrate it um, I have darker skin and I will say even growing older my skin has gotten way more dry faster so I have to do a lot more lotioning moisturizing exfoliating and stuff to make sure the moisture goes into my skin hyaluronic acid and glycerin is it glycerin or glycerin I think I believe it's glycerin are great to help retain moisture better definitely use them look for products that have them within it they are great for your skin I'm gonna put a couple down in the down in the description that you can use so with me I this is something that I haven't stopped doing but don't use too many exfoliant sponges like you know I know Africans a lot of us use the very hard sponge and I feel like that's what's made my skin look great over the years I don't know if that's changed I haven't really observed not using it but I use it daily but try if you can not to use exfoliant sponges too often because it can strip the moisture from your skin can strip oils from your skin that you kind of need for it to be protected your melanin to be protected but definitely make sure you use what works for you if it's been working for you continue to work use it but you know it's okay to switch it up and use maybe a washcloth or something softer but basically stay moisturized all the time and if you wear makeup, take your makeup off. <laughs> take your makeup off. Do your skincare routine daily. You know if it's the seven steps or the ten steps. You do your skincare daily because it will definitely make your skin melanin pop all the time and it'll make it pop for a very long time. You want people to say your black doesn't crack, right? So make sure it doesn't crack and do your skincare daily. I feel like I sound like an ad, but I'm really just giving you guys tips on what, what I've noticed and what I've observed. So next is sunscreen. You definitely have to use sunscreen daily, even in the winter time when you don't see the sun coming in. Use your sunscreen because there are still rays that can be harmful to your skin. And I know we think we have melanin, we're dark skin, or we, we're black and we just don't need to use sunscreen. But you do. You definitely need to do it because you're not protected. 
people that are black are more likely to die from skin ca cancer. We're less likely to get it, but when we get it, we're most more likely to die from it. So that's very scary. And we have to really do what we can to take care of our skin because we don't know how the sun is affecting us in that way. So make sure that you use sunscreen daily. It will definitely save you from a lot of headache that you just, you don't know. You don't know, so use your sunscreen. And some moisturizers, they contain SPF in it, so if it's hard for you to use sunscreen daily, get an SPF that already, or get a moisturizer that already has SPF. Some of them are Fenty Beauty, the new Hydro, the new Hydro Visor moisturizer has SPF. The Drunk Elephant Tinte has SPF 30. These two have SPF. 30 and Black Girl Sunscreen has SPF 30. So those are great sunscreens that you can use. They're moisturizers and SPF. Use them. And sunscreen can kind of help with dark spots. Um, they, they don't help dark spots that are already there. They may, they may. I'm not saying they don't, but <laughs> they definitely help them from forming later on too. So use your sunscreen because you don't want your skin to be all dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C is great for hyperpigmentation. I know a lot of people deal with pigmentation. A lot of our melanated beauties deal with hyperpigmentation. I have a darker face and neck and the rest of my body is lighter. I deal with hyperpigmentation. I don't use vitamin C yet, but I'm looking into products that can have it. And vitamin C is great and it increases collagen if you're looking for products that increase collagen, vitamin C is great for that for your skin. Definitely eat a balanced diet. I know that's easier said than done, but make sure to get your three square meals a day. Don't forget, include your vegetables and your veggies. <sighs> I know. I say this and I have my own issues with eating these things. I'm trying. I feel like because I can't really take in vegetables, I'm just going to make smoothies and down it. Whatever way it takes for you to get your veggie intake in, do it because it's going to be worth it. Your skin is going to thank you for it. It's needing it and I, I know my, my skin is telling me I need veggies and I, I'm not listening. I, I don't want I don't want to listen. Lord, but the Lord told me I had to listen. So make sure you get your veggie intake in, your, your fruit, your fruit intake in. Um, don't do too many sugars. Sugars definitely interrupt. And this is not just about skincare. Like it, it doesn't just affect acne. Like it, it makes you age. If you don't use sunscreen, it makes you age faster. Don't eat. If you don't eat well, it makes you age faster. Like, I'm not just saying this for, like, you know, taking care of your acne or preventing acne. Like, this affects all your skin. All your skin. And also, I don't know if I said this, but moisturize all over. All over your body. All over your neck. All of that. Don't miss any spots. And exfoliate all over your body, too. Don't miss any of the spots. Sometimes it's easy to miss things I don't know how but some people do they miss things so just make sure that you're hitting all spots when you're doing skincare when you're doing um, when you're showering when you're moisturizing make sure you hit all spots also going back to the balanced diet don't drink too much alcohol alcohol can be very disruptive to your skin and to your health um, so definitely try and cut back if you are a drinker do it at events just drink at events you know you don't always have to have a glass of wine but try to take back and cut back on your alcohol consumption because it can definitely affect your skin you don't want that last two things use lighter products in the winter so I know definitely still sunscreen in the winter but use lighter products because there is a lot of moisture around already in the air but you need to but that doesn't mean don't use it 
and your skin can definitely react in different ways. You can actually become drier in the drier in the winter. So still keep moisturizing, but find a moisturizer that's lighter and doesn't doesn't put too much pressure on your skin. You always got to change your products up. Don't change it up too much because it can definitely disrupt things. But um, Change your products up, see what works for you. And lastly, always look for mold or discolorations because it can, you know, if, if a mold just happens to appear, you know, just, just go get it checked because sometimes they could mean different things. It can lead to, you know, more serious health concerns. So just go get it checked. And even discoloration, if you see a new discoloration on your body, that can mean something as well. So it's better to get it checked than not to get it checked because you never know. But make sure you, you always are looking at your skin, seeing how it's reacting to products, seeing how your skin is changing. You gotta take care of your melanin. You really have to take care of your melanin because it's precious and it's beautiful. So definitely, hopefully these tips can help. And you know, if you're trying to get started on your skincare journey, get our melanin magic box the link is in the bio and thank you guys so much for watching my name is ac coakley don't forget to subscribe like comment share all that jazz love you guys